In this movie, we are going to talk about the reasons of failure in this screw compressor. This Refcom screw compressor is sent to Mehresband workplace for taking high ampere and locking rotors. So the first thing that came to our mind was a mechanical problem. Now we open the suction part of the compressor. So you can see the winding has good visualization and there is no any sign of burning in ohm of terminals. And the measure shows that the winding is well. So we start to open the discharge part of the compressor. Magnet in oil sump has caught high value of iron fillings that are created by abrasion of mechanical parts. Then we remove cover of piston and discharge bearings. Slider parts have good qualification, so we remove them and the next step is checking the bearing. One of the screws has moved in axial direction and touched suction part and sold to the spacer and ruined the spacer of suction. Bearing have been scratched badly, so most of the bearing have bad failure. This compressor worked only two months with correct logic control and there was not any contamination or oxygen or problem in subcool or superheat. But why one of the screws could move axially and touch the suction's spacer? The answer should be found in grooved knots of rotor's end. Knots didn't fast correctly and they didn't use Loctite to locking knots. So after assembling compressor and in two months of working by the stress of warm weather and high loading, screws moved and grooved knots unclenched.